I'm here to give you a quick recap of IPFS camp from 2019 to 2022. What have we accomplished in the last three years? How has this whole project and community upgraded? What are the amazing things that we can look forward to next? And maybe some challenges for all of you to start getting involved and making IPFS better. So a quick snapshot since our last IPFS camp. Last one had 160 attendees from 22 different countries. I hear this one has over 530, so over 3x as many attendees as last time. Welcome. We're so excited to have you. Um, quick snapshot of some of the stats from last IPFS camp. If you remember back to 2019 in June, we had about 880 active quarterly contributors to the IPFS project. Something like 20 to 40 seconds find time for content in IPFS at the 95th percentile. It's slow. It was not good. Very painful. We were struggling with that at the time. We had two browsers supporting IPFS via extensions, Firefox and Chrome. We had 5 million monthly users of various IPFS-powered applications. Estimates, these things are hard to come by, but we were trying to, to grow that over time as well. And hundreds of different IPFS-powered dApps, um, multiple of them with over a million monthly active users. Um, so we had a growing community. We were super excited to be seeing greater adoption. Um, but let's fast forward to today. Today, things are looking a little bit different. In this IPFS camp, um, we can celebrate that there's actually uh, over one, okay, slides. There we go. Um, over 1,000 active quarterly contributors to IPFS. Thank you all for making IPFS stronger. Um, we are now seeing 400 millisecond find times in IPFS at the 95th percentile. That's amazing. That's like a massive, massive improvement. Yeah, round of applause. This is really thanks to all of the groups that went and rewrote the IPFS and LIP2P DHT implementation so that that was much faster resolving content. We improved the, the set of nodes that actually route data in IPFS. There was a massive amount of work that went into making that the case. And now you get you know, nice, nice snappy IPFS content resolution times, which is amazing. We now have five browsers with IPFS support via extensions, and three browsers with native IPFS protocol handler support, and one browser with embedded IPFS nodes that resolve content directly from within the browser. Freaking amazing. So much great work has happened there. Um, thank you to our, uh, our browser friends who are joining us today as well. We now have over 500, or sorry, 50 million mo monthly users of IPFS applications and tools. Um, Massive growth, 10x growth in the number of monthly users of IPFS. Again, these are estimates, but it's at least 50 million from the stats I could gather, which is so cool and exciting. And we now have thousands, thousands of IPFS powered dApps. I literally can't count them. Um, please help me if you can. That would be wonderful. I would love to know what all of them are, update some of our ecosystem diagrams. And multiple of these have over 5 million monthly active users themselves. So we're really seeing the, the quality and, and scale of applications building on IPFS level up a ton in the last three years, which is fantastic. So I'm here to give you a lightning fast recap of what some of those really, really exciting upgrades were in our ecosystem that all of you can celebrate, resonate on, and, and see the delta of what we've accomplished uh, since last camp. First, we doubled our active contributors to IPFS, which is super exciting. We're now serving over 30 million monthly gateway users, unique users around the world who are accessing content on the IPFS.io gateway. There's many other gateways as well. Please tell me your stats. I would love to help represent them to this community. But this is accessing things like NFT marketplaces or open games uh, or metaverse assets or other amazing things all stored and served through the IPFS HTTP gateway. Since our last IPFS camp, we unlocked Super huge, you know, going from uh, 40 seconds to 400 milliseconds. There were a lot of performance improvements to providing time, to find time, to fetching. Like, IPFS is so much faster, so much more performant than where it was three years ago. Um, and really making that, that find time sub-second was a really big deal for making sure that everyone can build snappy, user-focused applications on IPFS. And that's why we're seeing some of these amazing uh, communities grow massive amounts of user adoption. 
We now have IPFS in Brave, embedded IPFS nodes. Um, we have things like Opera that are using the protocol handler and Chromium and more to come. Um, and it's amazing to see that, that progress upgrading all of our tools and infrastructure with IPFS support, which is amazing. We also see IPFS unlocking the DeFi explosion happening in Ethereum land, actually making permissionless front ends um, that can be decentralized and accessed and hosted by a whole community of users together. We also see IPFS powering tools like ENS and Fleek, so you can have Web3 sites all over the internet um, that anyone can access, and it's super simple to just, you know, every new GitHub PR ships to your uh, ENS domain. If you want to check me out, I'm momac.eth. You can go and view my Fleek-powered ENS website hosted on IPFS. Um, we also have IPFS preserving NFTs, these amazing cultural works that are happening around the world. OpenSea has IPFS support. NFT.storage is storing almost 100 million NFTs um, and all IPFS enabled, so you get really good best practices to avoid things like rug pulls or data, up, um, data loss. IPFS is also powering Filecoin's open data preservation efforts. Things like the Internet Archive, the USC Shoah Foundation, Harvard, oh, uh, Neutrino data from CERN, many groups are storing their data on IPFS and Filecoin so that they can have verifiable proofs um, of that data being stored persistently. We also see new exciting DAO tooling, things like Snapshot, starting to use IPFS for open community governance and supporting beautiful new applications like Audius that do um, kind of individual artist music ownership. If you don't have Audius installed on your phone, Go get it. They have a beautiful mobile app. I found songs on Audius that, like, again, I, I could never find anywhere else. They're amazing. I will show you my playlist. We should make our own for IPFS camp. It'll be fantastic. It's also powering a real open metaverse, someone not owned by other companies. Um, groups like Mona are putting all of their um, Web3 metaverse assets on things like IPFS and Filecoin to be um, accessible and hosted by everyone. And it's starting to power truly beautiful private um, content creation tools like Skiff with email and docs editing and Drive and all, you know, if you're still using Google, like, like why? Like this exists. You can use IPFS today and I think it's even prettier. So go, go check that out. It's pretty fantastic. But this is really just a small subset. There are so many amazing projects, tools, and many, many more being created every single day. Um, let us know. We can add your, your, uh, your new work to, to these dashboards. But really, the future of IPFS is up to you. IPFS is evolving. There are now over 21 different IPFS implementations and growing. There's a new IPIP process for improving the IPFS specs and making sure new implementations can innovate into the future while still interoperating with uh, data and other uh, implementations in this ecosystem. And there's some really cool future work being done around IPVM so we could have like a WASM-based IPFS node that could code load in new transport, new modules, run that in its own execution layer. If you want to learn more about that, go talk to Brooke, go talk to Boris and the Fission team, go talk to all of the people who are starting to make that new area a reality. I'm so excited for it. It's going to be fantastic. And together, we can power a new Cambrian explosion of IPFS. We can make this a reality, and we can take IPFS to a ton of new applications, a ton of new capabilities, and really make Web3 a reality. So thank you. This is all really thanks to the hard work of everyone in this community. Um, thank you for coming here today, sharing your work, sharing your enthusiasm, excitement, um, and working together to help make IPFS better. The future's up to you. Let's go make it fantastic. Thank you so much.